Hey guys, what's up? It's Abigail. So, we're back with another video. We're not actually doing a um, video essay today. We're going to be doing something fun. I literally just got the idea a little bit ago as I was thinking of different videos for this week. And a couple years ago, what I did, I did a TMI tag, which I remember like was like super popular back in like, like a long ass time ago. And I compared my answers to when I was 12 doing it. So I figured why not do it now that I'm like two weeks away from turning 20. Um, and I just do a little TMI tag and compare my answers to when I was 16 and when I was 12. So nice little like every like four, three years. Uh, maybe I was 12, I can't remember. Um, and I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I do this. So let's get the headband on, let's do it. I feel like this is like the Billie Eilish, like one year, like a part um, video. Question one, what are you wearing? I'm wearing Hellraiser shirt from Brady Melville, jeans, which you can't see from Urban Outfitters. I'm wearing this shirt from Goodwill. It says, there's hair, Myrtle Beach, and there's a bunch of sparkles, and it's yellow, and I like it, and it's four sizes too big on me. So right now I'm wearing this um, Disney princess shirt from, I don't know, I got it in Disney a couple days ago. And it has Disney princesses in this pocket, and it's by Vans. And then I'm wearing these Miss Me jeans. Ever been in love? So, short answer, no. Long answer, I I read somewhere that um, if your crush lo lasts longer than four months, that means you're in love with them. And I've definitely had crushes on people that were like way longer than four months. So, long answer, yes. Short answer, no. Number three, ever had a terrible breakup? I have, personally, me, I have never had a terrible breakup. Um, I'm definitely a ghost and go kind of girl. Um, that's a really bad habit I have. I tend to ghost people. We're working on not doing that anymore. But, you know, sometimes a little ghosting is needed. But I've never, like had like a terrible breakup. How tall are you? I am 5'4". I am 5'4". Five, 5'2 five, and a quarter. And how much do you weigh? I'm not answering that question today because that is unneeded. That is none of your business. Mm -mm -mm. Any tattoos? Yes, I do have a tattoo. Um, I'll insert a picture because I'm doing shit basically it's just like for self growth I got it in a year where I evolved a lot and just changed a lot and um, went through a lot of growth are you ever just like in dance class and like people are like wearing like tank tops or like a sports bra in dance class and you just like see like all of the rib tattoos because that is that a universal experience or is that just me because literally all the girlies have them because we have to have our shit hidden. No, but I want to get one um, on my rib cage that either is like a sunshine, like just like a simple sun or like a couple stars, or it says no day but today. I don't know. That's just like if I had to get a tattoo, that's what I'd get. That's more TMI for the TMI tag. Um, I don't have any tattoos. Um, sometimes I like draw my hand when I'm like bored, like right here. Um, I usually draw an infinity sign like in the middle of class from like board or something. Number seven, any piercings? I have a lot more piercings than when I last did this, but I have one right here. I have my doubles and then I have my cartilage. I want more piercings too. I don't know. I always saw like a lot of piercings like when I was younger and like I did shows with like teenagers and stuff. I thought people who had like tons of piercings and like all over their ears were so fucking cool. And, um... I'm like, I want to be cool. Like, I want to like, I want to be like the per, like, I want to be like, oh, fuck, how do I want to word this? I want my younger self to think cur my current self is cool. So that's kind of like my manifestation for life right now. My mantra, if you will. Number eight, OTP. Um, I don't know y'all. Probably, I don't know. I'm going to be completely honest. Like my OTP is not like. As of now, it's not like anyone like currently on TV or like, I don't know. For all my own little characters I've written, so like y'all wouldn't get it, but 
I do have my answer, but no one would get it, so I'm not going to say it, but it's my own characters. Actually, no. Maybe, like, I've been on a Hunger Games kick recently, so probably, like, Kato Zimpita. I don't know. Tadashi from Big Hero 6 and Elsa from Frozen. I don't know what y'all- ah! You better stop! I don't know. I don't want to, like, geek out on you guys. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think. What's, like, a good OTP? Oh, Jim and Pam. Definitely Jim and Pam. Favorite show. So, I don't really watch- I don't even know. I don't watch a lot of TV. Um... I'm just gonna go basic and probably say Euphoria or um, Dance Moms. Or okay. I like The Office, I like Glee, and I like Gossip Girl. Those are like my top three. Once Upon a Time. Favorite bands. Um, let me like look at my playlist because I haven't been listening to like a lot of like bands, but like my favorite artists or whatever. We, you, we all know I love Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift. Harry Styles, Olivia Rodrigo, um, I've been really into, um, Mother Mother and Alanis Morissette, I've been on a Joshua Bassett kick recently as well, and Tyler the Creator too, love Tyler the Creator, Lizzie McAlpine, Phoebe Bridgers, just like basic girl shit, like, <laughs> Taylor Swift, um, Cave Town, Rex Orange County, who else is good? I don't know. Those are like some of my like faves. I don't really listen to bands, but I like One Direction for like an actual band. I kind of like two or three Five Seconds of Summer songs, and I love Taylor Swift. She is one of my favorites, and I also really like Selena Gomez. Something I miss. I miss my mom and my dog. I miss, I really miss being in a sorority. That's a big one. I miss summer and like I miss comp season a lot. I'm so excited for comp season. Oh, I miss my friends from my college intensive that I was at over the summer. The Florida weather because I was in Florida a couple days ago. I miss um, Disney because I love Disney. I miss. Um, Caleb from Bertaley, if you don't know what happened to him, he recently passed away due to a heart disease. I miss New York City. I love New York City. Shout out to y'all if you live in New York. Favorite song? So right now, like kind of like my song of the moment is either Would Have, Could Have, Should Have, or Mastermind by Taylor Swift. Um, but also probably my favorite song, like overall, is Goldwing by Billie Eilish. Without You from Rent, um... Bad Habit by Ben Platt, um, All of Lover by Taylor Swift, I'm obsessed with that album right now, um, Wait For Me, Wait For It, um, I don't know, I have too many favorite songs, like, we can't just, like, go off. I would have to say either, check, probably Welcome to New York, um, The Big Girls Cry, Odessa Remix, I don't know how to pronounce it. The, um, I really like Goodbye to Spring too, and, um, Wonderland, New Romantics by Taylor Swift. I also like, um, The Wild Streams Rehab me Remix. It's really good. Alright, this is gonna be kind of crazy trying to do eyeliner and a TMI tag, but you know what? I'm a strong fucking woman. I can do this. How old am I? That's easy. I am 19. I turn 20 in two weeks and I am low-key so scared because that means I'm actually like getting older. I am 16. I'm 12. This probably looks like 21. I don't know. Either way, 12. Zodiac sign. I am an Aries sun, Capricorn moon, and Aquarius rising. The astrology girlies have told me that my birth chart is really concerning and I don't disagree with them. Quality I look for in a partner, um, probably the biggest is a fat bank account. Just kidding. Respect is a huge thing for me. Um, and not just respect for me, respect for other people and respect for um, everyone. Like I'm 
never going to date someone that doesn't, you know, agree with um, being kind with ev to everyone. Um, I'm not going to, you know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of a big thing is like respect for everyone um, is willing to grow as a person. Um, grow as we go, Ben Platt. Um, who's willing to just grow and change as a person in a good way. I mean, not like changing themselves for me, but also someone who, um, loyalty is a big thing. And someone who has respect for themselves and respect for others. I think those are really important things that I look for. I don't know, probably like personality or something. Good personality, good humor, stuff like that. Mm -hmm favorite quote i don't know y'all i don't i don't know quotes okay lies i remember um probably my favorite is by billy eilish and it is i've always done exactly what i want and been exactly who i am or like it's like something like that i don't know i like used it for like a project a while ago and that just like kind of stuck with me because um i'm very much an individualist kind of girl and you know i don't want to change my and I don't want to, like, change myself to, you know, fit what people want out of me and what other people think I should be. I've been really liking Everything Will Be Alright from Falsettos. I don't know. I, I just sing that all the time because I need it sometimes. Growing old is optional, but... No, not growing old. Growing old is mandatory, but growing up, but growing up is optional, um said by walt disney anyway favorite actor my favorite actor is aaron tveit listen y'all he is a broadway boy he i think he did like a, like he did um a hallmark movie a while ago and i fucking hate hallmark movies but i watched this hallmark movie for him and I technically dominic fike and joshua bassett are actors so i'm gonna say them you know, Chris Brindley, if you don't know who he is, he's on The Summer I Turned Pretty. He's, um, Conrad. Love him. Here are actresses. Zendaya, 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 Zendaya. Jen, I love Jenna Ortega so much. Um, I, I'm obsessed with her. I love her to death. Sarche Ronan and fucking Florence Pugh is probably, like, my number one. Florence fucking Pugh. I love her to death. Jeremy Jordan, Ben Platt, um... Kyle Seelig, Derek Klenna, Andrew Reynolds, um, Jordan Fisher, um, who else? Reeve Carney, uh, Gray Henningsen. I love Gray Henningsen. I, I'm counting Josh Groban. I love Josh Groban. Uh, those are my favorite actors. My favorite actresses are Phil Basu, Christy Altamar, um, Jesse Mueller, Betsy Wolf. Lindsay Mendez, Eva Noblezad. Favorite color, um, this, probably green, especially like neon green, like, like yellow or pink. I really like pink or ooh, like, like a really light sky blue. I have a lot of teal over, all over my room. This color should be very stupid. And um, I also like hot pink. Loud music or soft? I'm a loud music girl. It's actually kind of a problem. I'm definitely not going to be able to hear in a couple years, um, but that's okay. Maybe it's because I love live music so much that, like, I try to replicate it in my headphones and I'm going to get he have hearing loss, but that's okay. Where do you go when you're sad? Um, I have a couple comfort places on my own TBH. Um, I love to go on walks when I'm sad um, or, like, drives or whatever. Um, so probably like my car or like I have like my comfort places like sometimes I'll like go to a coffee shop I love going to Lincoln Center for some reason. That's just like a comfort spot for me and um, Like wherever I am I always find a comfort spot. It's so weird. If I'm in public the bathroom um, But usually like my room or something. How long does it take for you to shower? Um, if I'm doing like a regular just like chill shower it takes me about like 50, 50, I don't even know, you like 10, 15 minutes, but if I'm taking like a full body, like exfoliate, shave, 
do all that shit probably like 20 minutes I don't how long does it take for you to get ready in the morning it depends if I'm like usually on I don't know I usually take about 30 minutes um, either it take like literally like 15 to like 15 minutes to like an hour like there's no in between and have you ever been in a physical fight no I have not um I pretend I have because I like to like tell my friends that I'm gonna beat up people that have wronged them and um I pretend that I'm rough and tumbling and I'm really not turn on again respect fat bank account um if I I don't know just like being nice to me <laughs> the bar is down here the bar is literally on the ground let me fucking tell you turn offs disrespect um or like when they're like me like when someone's like mean to like service workers that makes me so mad like I can't I can't not do it the reason I joined YouTube um to be famous and make a lot of money and that hasn't happened but that's okay just kidding y'all I joined just because um also I don't really know why I like started when I was like 12 um, but I recently, like, more recently decided to just because I wanted to have, like, an extra hobby and it's just been something I've always wanted to do. I don't really know the specific reason, but I've always wanted to just make videos and now it's, like, one of my favorite things to do. I originally joined because I wanted to, like, get discovered in singing and stuff on my old channel, but now I kind of want to, like, get into, like, the YouTube community and, like, start making videos and stuff. What Fears, I am terrified of elevators. I am terrified of heights. I hate open water. Like, I don't like going on cruises because there's just so much open water and you don't know what's in there. Like, barely any, we've explored more of space than the ocean. Like, also like, some conspiracy theories freak me out. I won't call them like a fear. Like, I don't know. Like, certain things I'm like afraid of or like certain like circumstances I would find myself in like say like I'm just like sitting here and like there's like a window near me like I'm scared I'm just sitting here and like someone's just gonna start like banging on the window screaming at me or like some things just gonna like come barreling through last thing that made you cry um it was I can't remember I think it was no it was either a really like nice text from my mom or um seeing me on rouge like, time you said you loved someone um kid you not five minutes ago in a text to my mom or like one of my friends or something i definitely like text i love you all i say i love you all the time i text i love you all the time meaning behind your youtube name so actually fun story um i my middle name is not gracie my last name is not Gracie. A lot of people think my name is Abigail Gracie, like actually. Um, but it's just my name, Abigail Gracie, but Gracie has nothing to do with my name at all. My middle name is Grace, but Abigail, I don't know. Like I liked the sound of Abigail Gracie better, but I think I'm gonna change it back to Grace um, because I am Abigail Grace. I don't know. But also like I feel like I've made this my brand for like since I was like 15 and I don't know what to do about it because it's like been all it's like all my socials I don't know last book I read so I just finished the summer I turned pretty um series okay honestly I think it was either Dear Evan Hansen or um it might have been like the Alice by Heart libretto I don't know that doesn't count but it was um Self Health by Miranda Sings. I love that book. It's so good. The book I'm currently reading, y'all. Let me put you on something. I know, like, I know it's already popular, but I'm reading Daisy Jones and the Six right now. I am like 54 pages in, and it is already like one of my favorite books of all time. It is so good. The last show I watched, um, I actually like this is a movie, but I just did a Hunger Games marathon. Probably the last TV show I watched is probably The Simple Life. I fucking love The Simple Life. I eat that up. And yeah. Oh, it was Black Mirror. That's another show I love. I love Black Mirror. Like, I, I don't know. Last person I talked to, my lovely, 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 lovely roommate, Alyssa. I asked her if I could film my video in here. 
and she said yes, so shout out to Alyssa. The relationship between the person, between you and the last person you texted. The last person I texted was my really good friend Stella. Um, Y'all have met her on the vlog. Love, bestie boo. Mother, because I was telling her that I was fixing up my piano downstairs. Oh, it was um my two friends, my two besties, um, Avery and Amara. Favorite food, my favorite food, I don't know, my favorite food changes. I've always been a lover of chicken tenders, um, but I don't want to say that. I've been really into falafel recently and poke. Probably avocado toast. Place I want to visit, probably the biggest ones right now are Paris, Greece, and Italy. And also maybe like Germany and Denmark, um, but we'll see. I want to visit Paris so bad. Like that's like probably my number one dream vacation right now is to go to Paris. Um, I also really want to go to um, LA soon and I'm going back to New York in like a month and I'm so excited. I want to go to um, Paris, London, um, Norway. Last place I was, I actually, I'm gonna do a little shameless plug. Went to Kona, Kona Coffee Roosters. It is a coffee shop in the East Village. It is so good. I got a caramel latte and I love it so much. And this is my baby and I love it so much. I needed it after dance. I was at the mall today. The grocery store. Do I have a crush? No, I do not. And my life is kind of boring because of it. So if someone, if someone wants to be my crush for the month of Marth, oh my God. If someone wants to be my crush for the month Marth of, Ma oh my God. I cannot talk. If someone wants to be my crush for the month of March, that would be amazing because my life gets really boring when I don't like someone. Like some people are like, mm, no big deal. They have a crush. I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, she does. I'm like, no, I genuinely don't. Oh, no. Last time I kissed someone. This is, I don't want to say it. this is embarrassing. I feel like back when I was like 16 and like 13, it was like really like funny for me to be like my dog or I don't know but like now I'm like okay like I'm old like this is embarrassing probably I want to say New Year's Eve which is kind of awkward but that's okay last time I was insulted um I don't know my friends and I insult each other all the time but like I don't I don't know the last time I've like genuinely been insulted Pro my favorite flavor of sweet um this isn't necessarily a flavor, but probably caramel, but like I've also like recently I have been Recently I've been on a nerds a cluster kick. That's been really fun. What instruments do you play? So I I'm a singer. We all know this. I play a minuscule amount of guitar and piano. I don't consider myself be good at either of those, but I like to sometimes, you know, plunk out a little something, something. Piece of jewelry. Um, I have two. I have, they're both from Tiffany's. This is my just like cute little like two hearts, like Return to Tiffany. And my other one is probably a, my music note necklace. I, um, wear it to every audition. It is my good luck charm. Um, it helps me stay booked and blessed. This music note that I got at Tiffany's in New York, um, which is really special to me. This bracelet, because I have a matching one with my mom. The last sport, okay, last sport you played. Um, I danced this morning, so we're gonna say that. Y'all can debate in, in the comments if dance is a sport or not. The song I sang, High Infidelity by Taylor Swift. I think I was singing while I was setting up. I wanna say Bad Habit by Ben Platt. Um, I think it was either Wild Street. I think it was Wild Streets. Favorite chat up line. Um, are you from Tennessee? Cause you're ugly. Have you ever used it? Um, like joking out with my friends, yes. Last time I hung out with someone, um, a couple days ago I hung out with some friends after class and it was so fun. I went to go see Casey Levy with my friend Meg. And who should answer these questions next? Um, me in four years. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week. Bye.